to a new video. So yesterday I just got a request on a teleporting cinematic, how it did news item, so let me try and explain it. This is not a tutorial in detail, but I will take you with me through the steps I have taken. So let's begin. The first thing I have done is I take a shot from my television while it was off. I did this with my camera on a tripod so there was not any movement or any weird things going on with my camera so it was a lot easier to edit. So when you are trying to make a breaking news uh, kind of thing in your cinematic or video, try to use tripods because, because it will take it a lot easier to edit. And if you did not use a tripod if or if you don't have a tripod, that's not a big deal because you can always uh, get track it, track the motion. Uh, you can go to window and then um, the tracker and on the right side you can use track motion to let Adobe After Effects track your footage so it knows where your camera was and you can just link that to a null object and your footage is moving as well so it won't be a big deal but in this case I didn't use any track motion so it was a lot easier to do so you might ask yourself how I did the video uh, put in the scene so as you can see I've used a breaking footage a composition for it I have set the uh, perspective size in it but as you can see the Nintendo Wii is behind it because the footage is above the shot from the television but in that case I've used a uh, as you can see a Wii well it's not very good cutout but that doesn't matter uh, I have I have used a, a screenshot for it and then go to Photoshop and I've cut out the Wii itself and then place it above the television shot so it will look like it's oh, oh I'm messing up a bit so it looks like it's above the television I've created some mask in it and some color correction to get perfectly in the scene but it's not that perfectly but if you zoom out no one will see it so that's okay and then I've created a reflection on the television so it will look looks a lot realistic than without a reflection and this is the original reflection from the television. I just cut out the television itself, copy the, this black um, reflection, well, the television itself, copy and paste it onto um, above the other layers and set it to screen mode. So it will just be an overlay and it will look a lot better than without any reflection because television got always reflections on it and then I'll object nothing much going on just a scaling for the scene so it doesn't look too static and then I'm going to get into the breaking news intro I've created and that's a very simple looking uh, well yeah, thing <laughs> just three layers because I didn't want to put any more time in it it was just a small part of my cinematic so I just wanted to be easy and I don't want any well big, making a big deal of it so the world itself is just a map um, as you can see I've put a when I'm going to effects I've put a CC square on it when I'm deleting it it's just a world map so that's a very nice cool effect when you're putting a CC square on it it will make it a 3D world or it will make it a ball or something 3D um, just go to effect then perspective and just hit CC square and there you go there is your 3d world in space thing and just add some rotations on it or whatever just mess around with it and if you want that uh, cool 3d thing you can go to rotation from the CC square itself and then you can just rotate it uh, rotate the CC square itself and not the, the world map so that's kind of weird to explain but I hope you get it and the button itself is a very easy button moving at the center with some motion blur on it like most of the hair and the positioning there we go so there's the breaking news and then the last thing I had to do was putting the video after it and with some cool well, yeah, what is it? A thicker uh, at the bottom. 
So for that I've used another um, After Effects file because in here I, it is just a video so I'm going to get to that After Effects file in a second I will cut this out so you guys don't have to wait and cut it out in 3, 2, 1 So here we are, my second After Effects file where I've created a breaking news item and the first part is grey because um, in this part I will put the breaking news intro I just created with that CZ Swear world and after 10 seconds my well I, myself and um, the drunk guy of myself will pop in see that I am um, well I'm not that great actor looking like person but anyways uh, it goes to about this thing at the bottom how I did that well it's just a free um, project file you can get on the video copilot.net just search for breaking news uh, template and it's just for free, you can go to the bottom and then download the project file. It's just a bit of an old file, just from 2008 I guess, but that doesn't matter, it just looks great and funny and you can mess around with it. Um, I've created a, well, the text itself, it's all set up in the project file from uh, Video Copilot. But the thing is you have to edit the the logo itself because uh, when you're getting the template uh, it's video copilot vcn and i just wanted this with lab so i've created from c and l but just kind of kind of small details you can just edit so as you can see video copilot blah blah blah, blah all set up from video copilot just edit it and you set your own footage in it and just edit the text itself and yeah, that was it, and just render this out and put it in your other After Effects file, and then just um, I will hold on. I will get to the other file now in three, two, one. So we are back in the other After Effects file, and here you can see I've just put in um, the breaking news video I've created at the other After Effects file. I've put it in here, and just when the breaking news intro ends, like here, it just goes to this guy and that's all and that was my video item and then I have just put it in my television and how I did that is just another technique uh, you can just get to this arrow and effects I've created a corner pin and what it does it makes your um, uh, footage or your item perspective like in Photoshop you can right click transform perspective but After Effects always wanted to be something different and Adobe always use different things in every um, program they make. I don't know why they do it, but I don't know, just they wanted to like uh, imagine around or something. But just when I'm deleting corner pin, you can see you go to effect, and then distort, and then corner pin. And what it does, when you click on this, you can just drag your footage out like perspective ways. So you can click on this circle and just put your eye perfectly in the scene so there you go something like that so there it is there is our newest item and if you have as I said any shaky footage or if your camera is moving don't worry just get to the tracker track the motion and then put the motion in a null object and just link all your stop to the knowledge and there you go there is then your well the news item so if you have any more questions about it or if there was anything you didn't understand that good or if there is anything else you would like to know just ask me and just post it in the comments and i will check you guys in the next time see you peace bye